The man arrested and accused of taking his infant son away from the baby's mother is due in a warned courtroom tomorrow. But could some potentially conflicting statements from that woman to police and then to us get her in some trouble? First News Senior Reporter Jerry Ricciuti has the latest from Warren. Although you can't see her, investigators say the voice you hear is that of Kara Baker, the young woman whose baby was taken by her boyfriend, prompting an Amber Alert last Thursday. Through her tears, Baker warned officers about her boyfriend, 20-year-old James Stennett. He said that if you guys tried to take him from him, you guys would either have to take him for two days to get him. I know he got a shotgun in his car right now. On Friday, Stennett appeared in court charged with domestic violence and interfering with custody. Since then, we've received a number of messages from Baker claiming the story we were initially given was very wrong, adding the original police complaint was, in her words, a whole bunch of lies and false statements. This afternoon, prosecutors played that dash camera video for us, insisting actions by police last week were based on what Baker told them. At this point, I believe she was telling the truth. Is that how this happened? Although law director Greg Hicks says Baker has not yet tried to recant, he admits victims in similar domestic situations tend to follow a familiar pattern. They start feeling remorse and start recanting and, and afraid either one, they'll lose that support or that love or, or that the person will retaliate in some other matter to them. Tonight, Stennett remains jailed. He could get out after a bond hearing tomorrow. Hicks tells me if Baker does try to change her story, he'll consider charging her with making false statements. In Warren, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.